morning we are about to take the track that goes to the Buffy it is a magnificent day today look at this sunny that's Pam uh, last night we slept like babies there was no sound just the birds um, and yeah, today it only took us an hour to get ready, so that's a record. Come on, boy. So this morning, I had to wear my wellies instead of my hiking shoes, because the other ones are totally soaked. And I need to find a way to, you know, make them waterproof or buy some kind of waterproof shoes, because most of the hikes in Scotland are gonna be foggy. Um, but yeah, today we have the wallies, but there's probably gonna be no mud at all because it's uh, mainly a forestry track. Yesterday, I said goodbye to you and then I went to the van and I cooked a dish of pasta and I was ready to start watching a film and I basically smashed the screen of my laptop by I basically lied on it with my weight without realizing I was doing that because it was like open so instead of being like this it was like this right with the screen up and then I was trying to get something from the front seat and I just kind of put my body forward to get, try and reach that but I didn't realize that I was putting pressure of my body onto the screen and so I totally cracked it and I had like a minute of you know the breathe <laughs> silence and then I thought I can't I, I really can't afford a new laptop like and then I realized that maybe it's just the screen that is changing because I at first I thought oh my god I lost everything I got all the footage I lost all the pictures which is silly because it's just like the screen and so uh, I got a replacement I took the screen out and found the replacement online and then I was thinking, oh great, I've got the replacement, but how am I gonna get it delivered? Because I don't know anybody around here. And so I was thinking maybe I could ask somebody on Couch Surfing to get it delivered there. But then I find out that um, some eBay shop, they do shop, they do send uh, stuff on Argus, which is like a, what is Argus? Argus is really British, isn't it? It's just a, a place where they have, at, at first when I arrived in England, I thought there was like, very weird place because they have just catalogs and you choose what you want from the catalog and go to the till pay for it and then they bring it out to you so you don't see the items you choose them beforehand on your catalog but anyhow so yes the screen is gonna arrive in Fort Williams on three days or four days oh sunny so we have uh, a few more days around to hike which is not bad I don't mind like staying around what uh, it does bother me is that I won't have any way of working on editing posting anything like that which is probably maybe it is a, a a good thing you know to not be able to do anything for four days forced you to do other things but I'm gonna stop talking this camera is very heavy and just gonna enjoy the view I think that's our little bunny back there. dark to make it toasty. A little window. Ooh, 
we've got a mirror. Hey. <laughs> and then on the other side, we've got the platforms where you can sleep, but you won't be able to see much. It's very dark. And we've got some things that people have left. Um, some sunscreen. Sunscreen. Some cards. Those are always useful. And uh, I think this is the logbook. To write in who has been here. I'm just reading some of the comments left by people and this so far is my favorite. <laughs> I just went for a little uh, wander around the bathy just to check for uh, rubbish left and stuff like that and I found quite a bit. There is some more over there. Apparently some people had a, a lot of beers and then they tried to burn them and then they threw the half, you know, the cans don't burn. <laughs> they just threw it in the grass which is just oh the first um, idea I thought I would want to visit Scotland and visit as many buffies as I could and then document each buffy in a video and in a blog post on you know how to reach the buffy what are the facilities of the buffy how hard it is the hike there is there parking in place that kind of thing but since then I kind of thought about it and I don't want to contribute to make those places more accessible to the wrong kind of people if it makes sense and I know that if they want they will have access to it uh, anyway because you have to know that uh, if you don't know buffets are you know free shelter for you to stay at the night you can stay as long as you want really uh, there is no rule but most people just stay uh, a day or two uh, but yeah sometimes they're used by people that just want to have a party and they come and you know they just leave the place trashed and it's just not very nice for the next person that comes because they they will have to you know take the rubbish out and so yeah I really thought it would be a fun project to do but I don't think I'm gonna do it <laughs> basically I mean you know it's not they're not secret you can find information on where to find them on the Mountain Bathy Association and there's that book that I bought as well uh, but yeah you have to do a little bit of more work to, to find them and I don't want to give the information just like you know on a gold dish oh there's somebody coming right now <laughs> right I'm gonna stop filming now because that's gonna be weird but um, yeah see you later <laughs> We met a, a really cool couple from uh, Bradford, no, Hull, Hull, uh, and then another lady came up uh, from around here and we just chatted along for a little while while they were having lunch. I didn't bring in lunch with me just because I don't actually have any Tupperware, uh, so I didn't have anything to eat that I could, you know, just carry around with me. Oh, but yeah, went on the road again and uh, the lady said that the path is uh, cut by trees and I see what she means now. Ooh, we're gonna get through there. Um, we made it out of the trees, back on the main track. We just stopped for a little a little snooze. Uh, it's so warm. It feels like we are, I don't know, somewhere in the south of France. Not in Scotland. We met a few sheep, but they ran away, and rightly so. And yeah. gonna stay I think we're just gonna go back to the van it's about five o'clock and I'm starving and what do you think is uh, quite tired so you're gonna head back and on the way bye Bathy bye
on the way I think we're gonna collect a little bit of wood sorrel um, because I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything to eat that's fresh I just left pasta and rice it's quite windy I don't know if you'll be able to hear me wait I'm gonna wait till I get to the forest to see the rest so what I was saying is that I'm gonna collect some wood sorrel because I don't have anything fresh to eat uh, and this is quite delicious I don't have a bag but I do have a hat and <laughs> I think this is big enough for quite a few wood sorrel Got quite a little bit if you can see no you can't but uh, yeah you're not supposed to eat a lot of uh, wood sorrel because um, it has some acid inside that is not very good for you so you can eat it but not like you know don't eat too much of it if you're trying to uh, recognize or find wood sorrel it's quite easy uh, it likes shady areas in forest so as you can see this is like shaded by trees and you can find it on the edge of paths uh, quite often um, but it has uh, three small leaves uh, that are heart shaped and the flowers which come out well now really uh, end of April May are uh, five petal flowers that are white with like kind of uh, purpley stripes in it uh, so yeah it's a uh, it tastes like uh, it's like mm, it's quite tangy. It reminds me a little bit of kind of limes. We're back at the van. Got cut off earlier because the SIM card is full, so I had to delete stuff. Uh, but we're about to eat. We got the chickweed and primrose and dandelion salad with some corn and seeds. And then I'm making also some pasta over there. And Odi already had his dinner and he's knackered. So I think we're just gonna eat and then find a spot for the night. So yeah, just enjoy the rest of the day. Right, goodbye to the next one.